Hi, my name is Kelsey Wog. I swim for the University of Manitoba Bisons and I was named the 2020 U Sport Female Athlete of the Year. My name is Tavon Coco and I'm the starting point guard for the Ryerson men's basketball team. Hi, my name is Robbie Lowes. I'm a linebacker for the University of Regina Rams and I'm a fifth year senior. Well, I was devastated when the pandemic hit. You're putting in thousands of hours training, preparation, just to play these games and you're wondering, is it gonna be the last time I step on a field? COVID's impacted our workouts and team events. So we've been separated since about middle of March when things kind of got shut down. In basketball, it's one of those games also you need the whole collective to be successful. It's kind of impacted our ability to be together and kind of be in the gym and do those sorts of things on a consistent basis. Where my parents supported me, uh, they were able to get me a bunch of gym equipment. And I was still able to continue with lifting weights and doing some running outside, but it was definitely different when you don't have your teammates there. I just had to go outdoors. That's pretty much where I spent most of my basketball playing recently, just playing outdoors and putting up some shots out there. I've honestly bought a little bit of workout equipment and some stuff that could help me as well. Just trying to make the best of a bad situation. I was training for about four to five hours a day. And then when COVID hit, then I went to training nothing a day. A large part of a student's identity, an athlete's student's identity, is their sport. And oftentimes we don't realize the impact that daily exercise or daily training has on our mental health and even on our motivation. So there's a lot of uncertainty for these athletes and we really have to roll with it each day and see what the update's going to be. My goals for this year was to swim my best at trials. Top seed in this event, Kelsey Wong, University of Manitoba. She is the three-time defending champion in this event. And try to earn a spot on the Canadian national team at the Olympics. So when COVID-19 hit, it was super overwhelming at the time because we were being told, oh, you can't train anymore. And then it was trials are canceled, trials are postponed. Canada pulled out of the Olympics. The Olympics got postponed to the next year. And we heard all of that in the span of 10 days. So I was, I was super overwhelmed at the time because there's just so much information, so much uncertainty. Every day I kept waking up and I just thought I was waking up out of a dream. It took a long time for reality to set in. Well, athletes are very competitive. So we have removed the competition and that does change the mindset. If, if there's an email every morning in my inbox, it's help, Colleen, help, I'm losing my motivation. And I invite the athletes to see the micro motivation, to reset the goal, to say, okay, how can you be your best in what you have control over right now? I think this September, it's definitely gonna be different because it'll be the first fall in over a decade where I haven't played football. So this was for sure the longest time I haven't been in the pool for probably eight years. pretty tough, I guess, just not having something to look forward to right now in September, especially considering that I just transferred, so I actually just had a year off, so it's a lot of time away from the game. You know, it's almost like the five stages of grief in a sense. I mean, at first, you're angry, then you're slowly coming to acceptance. I guess I just feel lucky that I have another year to play. Grief is one of those things that you can't really explain until you're in it. And you don't really see it until you're in it. And there's a lot of losses involved right now in the world. And there's a lot of losses involved in athletics when you can't play. We will never forget COVID. As a counselor, I will never forget COVID. I have never been so busy. 
but I do feel blessed that I can have savvy ways to engage with people in meaningful spaces and meaningful moments. And that in fact, maybe the athletes right now feel less alone. You kind of learn that things are not gonna happen in a month or two months. You really develop that patience and that maturity to know that there is gonna be you know, an end goal and an end result. You just gotta see through the now and focus on what's down the line. So I don't know how September is gonna look quite yet, but I know that all of my classes are online in the fall, so I'm gonna be studying at home Hopefully training will have a pretty good schedule and routine, so that'll help. We got a pretty close group, so we're challenging each other to keep our training up and really trying to take advantage of this time off to work on our weaknesses and build towards a great 2021.